Oh, right. Just wanted to do a video responding to a common atheist attack on God's word where they love ripping Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 20 out of context. They try to attack God's word and basically claim that it's like somehow promoting bestiality or whatever, which is quite ironic considering that the atheist countries are always the ones that are full of bestiality. But, you know, side issue. But I'm going to read this verse and show how they're taking this totally out of context and misapplying it. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 20. For she doted upon their primers parameters whose flesh is as the flesh of asses and whose issue is like the issue of horses and they'll rip that out of context and say see look they're doing bestiality um how about we actually read what's going on in the passage okay because they would take this one verse but they don't actually read that in context it's actually condemning that okay let's read it in context ezekiel chapter 23 verses 18 down to verse 21 for did she discover her whoredoms and discover her nakedness then my mind was alienated from her like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms in calling to remembrance the days of her youth, wherein she had played the harlot in the hands in the land of Egypt. For she doted upon their parameters, whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth in bruising thy teats for, by the Egypt by Egyptians for the paps of, by, of thy youth. Okay, not good at reading on a computer. But Okay, notice something how when we read it in context, it's saying this is what you're doing and it's calling it lewdness and it's calling it she's playing the harlot. Okay, it's condemning this. It's not saying she's saying it's saying she did this, but it's condemning her for doing that. Okay, so they, they ripped that one verse out of context, but the immediate context says otherwise. Okay, acts of bestiality in verse 20 are being condemned as whore, as busy playing the harlot and lewdness. And it gives in the, the whole chapter there, Ezekiel 23 is, is giving examples of the lewdness that they got themselves into that were being committed. Okay, verse 19 and verse 21 describe that. This is actually the result. This lewdness and, and fornication and bestiality is actually the result of the heathen Egyptian influence, I might add. Okay, Leviticus chapter 20, verses 15 to 16, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 23, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 23, and Leviticus chapter 18, verse 24 to 27 show that those disgusting perversions were acts that were committed by the pagan Egyptians and the surrounding regions outside of the Israelites. And God was saying in those passages, don't do these things because then you're being like the heathen. So the reason why it's being committed is because of the heathen influence. Okay, bestiality is an abomination that merited the death penalty under the Mosaic law. You can see Leviticus chapter 20 verses 15 to 16 and Exodus chapter 22 verse 19 and God cursed those who committed acts of bestiality. You can see Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 21. So you see, atheists love to just rip any verse out of context to prove their twisting of God's word. Okay, The acts of bestiality are being condemned there, and they're happening as a result of the pagan Egyptian influence, not as a result of God's word. So just typical atheist scripture twisting. I'm a former atheist, and this kind of stuff is just common. Atheists love to just lie and twist and, and control the narrative. Because I did that when I was an atheist as well. So I, I have first-hand experience. Uh, atheism is just darkness. Atheism is ignorance. Atheism is unscientific garbage. And atheism is just simply a dead corpse that nations like China and North Korea carry on their backs. So anyway, don't be deceived by the atheist twisting of God's word. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.